This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good Erev Shabbos, Rabbi Yisai. The Haftarah this week, the Haftarah Parshas Vayeshev, comes from the Navi Amais. And the first Pasuk is, God says there are three sins of the Jewish people, and I could overlook them. But on the fourth, I cannot. And what is the fourth? That they sold for money the tzaddik, and they sold the evyoin for shoes. And the matter says, who's the tzaddik? that we're referring to, that was sold for money. The Medrash says this tzaddik is Yosef. And in fact, the Medrash says there are two people in Tanakh who are called a tzaddik, Noyach and Yosef. What makes a person a tzaddik? They both sustain the world. Noyach sustained all of mankind, all of the animals in the Teva, hence he was a tzaddik. And Yosef, Ayichalka Yosef, Yosef sustained the whole world. You give people food, that's the definition of a tzaddik. And therefore, the obvious connection to uh, this week's parsha is uh, this week's parsha talks about Yosef and how he goes down to Mitzrayim and uh, the sale of Yosef. So that's why the Haftarah begins that for the sin of Mechiras Yosef, the Rebbeinu Shalom says, he can never forgive us. In fact, um, the Meshachachma writes that on Yom Kippur, when we daven, Ki'ata Solchan L'Yisrael, Umachalan L'Shiftei Yeshurun, that God atones Israel and He forgives the Shiftei Yeshurun, we're invoking the two great sins of the Jewish people that we always have to give an accounting for. Ki'ata Solchan L'Yisrael, when the Jews made the Egal and they said, Eila Elohecha Yisrael, and when they sold Yosef, the Shiftei Yeshurun sold Yosef. So the connection is obvious. The Haftarah begins with the sale of Yosef, Al Mikram Bakes of Tzadik. But we're entitled to ask that the Haftarah of Parashas Vayeshev is usually the Haftarah we lay immediately before Hanukkah. What then is the connection between this Haftarah and Hanukkah Habalein Lataiva? Secondly, what was troubling me is if the Medrash identifies that the Tzadik in the Pasuk, Al Mikram Ba Kesav Tzadik, is Yosef, then there's another description then that we're referring to Yosef. We're calling him an Evyain. Why are we calling Yosef an Evyain? Why do we refer to him as an Evian? Certainly he, he was in a very compromised position, but why refer to him as an Evian? And then it struck me that if this is the Haftar that we lay in immediately before Hanukkah, then the, the Navi specifically refers to Yosef as an Evian. Because Hashem Yoyer Enai, that if you take the word Evian, Evian is like a compound word. You know what Evian is? Av Yavan. The father of Yavan, the root of Yavan. Similar to, we once had a, a share from the Ben Eshchai that El Yain is Al Yavan, that we, we reign supreme upon Yavan. Perhaps we could suggest that the opening pasuk of this week's Haftarah refers to Yosef as Av Yavan. This is the father, the root of Yavan. You know what brought you, Mal, um, the Malchus and the Golas of Yavan upon you? When we sold Yosef to Mitzrayim, as we explained Wednesday night from the Arizal, that Golas Mitzrayim was the Shoresh of all the Goliaths. Bavel, Paras, Yavan, Edom. So the Navi begins... God cannot forgive you for selling y- Yosef. I'll make him against Tzaddik. You know why? Evyoin. That was the root of Golos Yavan and really all the Goliaths. But now, is, as a Haftar immediately before Hanukkah, the Navi is making note of the fact that this was the root of Golos Yavan. It's the root of all the Goliaths, but this is the Golos that we are, are thinking about as we approach the Yom Tif of Hanukkah. But maybe, besides for the fact that Yosef being sold to Mitzrayim was the root of Yavan because it's the root of all Goliaths, there is a specific connection between Yosef and Hanukkah. As we know, Yosef in next week's parasha says, V'chimesh is Eretz Mitzrayim. Yosef instituted three mitzvahs, Chimesh, Chodesh, Mila, and Shabbos, to be able to protect Klal Yisrael in the future from the Gzeros of the Yavanim, who they were Gezer against, Chodesh, Mila, and Shabbos. There's also the Megala Mukos reveals to us that the Gematri of Yosef, Yosef is Yud Vav Samach Pei 156. 
Yosef is 156. Yod Vav is 16. Samach Pei is 140, 156. Yosef is the gematria of Antiochus. That Yosef is the, the, the direct antithesis to Antiochus. But in a way, through the power of Yosef, we're able to over, overcome Antiochus. That's why Antiochus made a decree. We have to write on the horn of an ox that we have no connection to Hashem. Why was Antiochus insisting that we write on the horn of an ox? Because an ox is representative of Yosef. Yosef is called Bechar Shoiroi. He's the firstborn ox. So Antiochus, realizing that Yosef already tried to protect the Jewish people through Vechimesh, instituting Chodesh Milan Shabbos, Antiochus and, and Yosef are, so to speak, two antithetical powers in this world. But Yosef, of course, has the ability to be Av Yavan, to be the father over Yavan, to override and supersede Yavan. So therefore, as the Hakdama to the Yom Tif of Hanukkah, as we're, so to speak, about to virtually imagine ourselves under the, the Malchus of Yavan, the Rebbe Nishlam and the Navi is being mechazek us. Don't worry. Through the power of Yosef. Yosef is called Evyon, the Av of Yavan, the way to overcome Yavan. That is the, and that's the great indictment over the Jewish people, that we sold Yosef, who, who is our strength to be able to overcome Yavan, we sold him, and that's the great indictment over Klai Yisrael. But if we're able to connect with the power of Yosef, the power of Kedusha, of Yosef, who's sold down to Mitzrayim, and even so he maintains his Kedusha, that is able to counteract the 156 of Antiochus, the Xeros of Antiochus. And we hope that by learning and, and leaning, Pashas Vayeshe, Pashas Miketz, we're able to tap into the great salvation of Hanukkah, Haba Aleinu Latoiva, wishing everyone a wonderful Shabbos and a Freilich and Hanukkah. <clears throat> You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.